After graduating college, I worked a lot of late nights as an engineer. And when I got out of work, the only thing that was open was McDonald's. My favorite thing was the fries. But the thing is, I stopped eating them. I felt guilty about eating their food. So that's why when they asked me to help you find answers, I was a little skeptical at first. But then I thought, maybe this is a chance to get to the truth. Now as an engineer, I normally take a bunch of components and put them together to form a machine. Any machine can be deconstructed. And by looking at the assembly process in reverse, you can get a better idea of how it's made. And that's what I'm gonna do with McDonald's French fries. I'm gonna reverse engineer the whole process. I'll start with a fully finished fry, and in the end, hopefully, I'll have a potato that came straight out of the ground. So Coco, I've been asked by people, are the fries even made out of potatoes? Are they you know, ground up and mushed into the fry shape. Sure, that's why I'm glad you're here today. We're gonna take you through the whole process so we can make sure you have your answers. Okay, from the very end all the way back to the beginning. Yes. We're at the end of the freezer tunnel. Now I know what you're thinking. These look like potatoes, but are they really potatoes? Let's go check out the rest of the process. All right. So this whole thing is the freezer tunnel. Yes, it's about 50 yards in length. So the fries go in unfrozen and they come out... Frozen. What about me? What if I went in one side and came out the other? It would turn you into a granticle. <laughs> so what's before freezing? So these are actually cooked. Yeah, they're partially fried. And then the final preparation is done at the restaurant. Why do you partially fry them? Well, we want to make sure we get that crisp outer shell. Yes. I like that part. Yeah. So before they're partially fried, what happens? This is the ingredient dip where we control the color and we're adding dextrose or natural sugar to make sure that we get a consistent color no matter what time of the year it is. Also a sodium acid pyrophosphate. What is that? That's gonna make sure that we control the graying after freezing. So this is all about maintaining consistency all throughout this process. Yes. It's no wonder that the fries always taste the same. They always taste really good. Let's keep going back. All right, Coco, so here's a big one. Now, I've been asked by people to show them the machine where you take the mashed up potato goo and you inject it into these molds in order to make the perfect french fries. We don't do that here. Behind us, you can see whole potatoes coming at us. Yes, and then I see this thing that, that looks like a cannon. It works similar to a cannon. We're lining up the potatoes in two with high pressure water and shooting them through a water knife here. It's precision cutting. What? Check that out. That is crazy. How fast do they fire through here? 60 to 70 miles per hour. So Coco, where does the ammo for the potato gun come from? Let's go find out. So these are all the potatoes coming in. I mean, some of these are huge. That one's as big as my forearm. Are you using GMO potatoes? No, we don't use GMO potatoes for McDonald's fries, but we do use different varieties. So we have russet Burbanks and Umatillas. Potatoes are just like people. They come in different shapes and sizes. <laughs> and they're all beautiful. They're all beautiful. So I've been all through this factory and I've seen the potatoes come off the trucks. I got one final question. Where does this come from? So all around us under these vines, we'll find what makes mac fries. All right. Clear the vines away, start digging. <laughs> Am I doing good? You're doing <laughs> so well. Far. It's like an Easter egg hunt. <laughs> oh, oh, this is like the worst Easter egg <laughs> ever. Oh, this is it, right? <sighs> See, a real potato. This is where it all begins. So you wanted to know where McDonald's fries come from or if they're even made out of potatoes. So I went to Simplot, I went backwards through the whole process, saw exactly how they're made, and traced it all the way back to here, to this potato. Pretty simple. I know you have questions, I have questions too. So keep asking, and I'll find the answers.